In mathematics, a simplicial complex is a topological space of a certain kind, constructed by gluing together points, line segments, triangles, and their n-dimensional counterparts. Simplicial complexes should not be confused with the more abstract notion of a simplicial set appearing in modern simplicial homotopy theory. The purely combinatorial counterpart to a simplicial complex is an abstract simplicial complex. Definitions A simplicial complex is a set of simplices that satisfies the following conditions. 1. Any face of a simplex from is also in. 2. The intersection of any two simplices is either or a face of both and. Note that the empty set is a face of every simplex. See also the definition of an abstract simplicial complex, which loosely speaking is a simplicial complex without an associated geometry. A simplicial k-complex is a simplicial complex where the largest dimension of any simplex in equals k. For instance, a simplicial 2-complex must contain at least one triangle, and must not contain any tetrahedra or higher dimensional simplices. A pure or homogeneous simplicial k-complex is a simplicial complex where every simplex of dimension less than k is a face of some simplex of dimension exactly k. Informally, a pure 1 complex looks like it's made of a bunch of lines, a 2 complex looks like it's made of a bunch of triangles, etc. An example of a non-homogeneous complex is a triangle with a line segment attached to one of its vertices. A facet is any simplex in a complex that is not a face of any larger simplex. A pure simplicial complex can be thought of as a complex where all facets have the same dimension. Sometimes the term face is used to refer to a simplex of a complex, not to be confused with a face of a simplex. For a simplicial complex embedded in a k-dimensional space, the k-faces are sometimes referred to as its cells. The term cell is sometimes used in a broader sense to denote a set homeomorphic to a simplex, leading to the definition of cell complex. The underlying space, sometimes called the carrier of a simplicial complex is the union of its simplices, closure, star, and link. Two simplices and the closure, a vertex and its star, a vertex and its link. Let K be a simplicial complex and let S be a collection of simplices in K. The closure of S is the smallest simplicial subcomplex of K that contains each simplex in S. CLS is obtained by repeatedly adding to S each face of every simplex in S. The star of S is the union of the stars of each simplex in S. For a single simplex S, the star of S is the set of simplices having a face in S. The link of S equals CL Saint S minus Saint CLS. It is the closed star of S minus the stars of all faces of S. Algebraic topology. In algebraic topology, simplicial complexes are often useful for concrete calculations. For the definition of homology groups of a simplicial complex, one can read the corresponding chain complex directly, provided that consistent orientations are made of all simplices. The requirements of homotopy theory lead to the use of more general spaces, the CW complexes. Infinite complexes are a technical tool basic in algebraic topology. See also the discussion at polytope of simplicial complexes as subspaces of Euclidean space, made up of subsets each of which is a simplex. That somewhat more concrete concept is there attributed to Alexandrov. Any finite simplicial complex in the sense talked about here can be embedded as a polytope in that sense, in some large number of dimensions. In algebraic topology a compact topological space which is homeomorphic to the geometric realization of a finite simplicial complex is usually called a polyhedron. Combinatorics Combinatorialists often study the f vector of a simplicial d complex delta, which is the integral sequence where phi is the number of dimensional faces of delta. For instance, if delta is the boundary of the octahedron, then its f vector is, and if delta is the first simplicial complex pictured above, its f vector is. 
A complete characterization of the possible effectors of simplicial complexes is given by the kruskal katona theorem. By using the effector of a simplicial d-complex delta as coefficients of a polynomial, we obtain the f-polynomial of delta. In our two examples above, the f-polynomials would be in, respectively. Combinatorists are often quite interested in the h-vector of a simplicial complex delta, which is the sequence of coefficients of the polynomial that results from plugging x-1 into the f-polynomial of delta. Formally, if we write f delta to mean the f polynomial of delta, then the h polynomial of delta is in the h vector of delta as we calculate the h vector of the octahedron boundary as follows. So the h vector of the boundary of the octahedron is. It is not an accident this h vector is symmetric. In fact, this happens whenever delta is the boundary of a simplicial polytope. In general, however, the h-vector of a simplicial complex is not even necessarily positive. For instance, if we take delta to be the two complex given by two triangles intersecting only at a common vertex, the resulting h-vector is. A complete characterization of all simplicial polytope h-vectors is given by the celebrated G-theorem of Stanley, Billera, and Lee. Simplicial complexes can be seen to have the same geometric structure as the contact graph of a sphere packing and as such can be used to determine the combinatorics of sphere packings, such as the number of touching pairs, touching triplets, and touching quadruples in a sphere packing.